Good morning. Listen, this lighting is everything. Okay, this morning, <clears throat> it's early. Been up since about 4.30 this morning. Um, yeah. Just trying to get create new habits in my life. Habits of the successful. And I'm trying to get up early and accomplish things before my kids get up or before I have to get them up for school or whatever. So how did that work out for me this morning? So far, so good. Anyway, it's 8.54 a.m. <laughs> and it is Tuesday, October 17th. And I just wanted to chat a little bit about something. Um, <clears throat> so, okay, I tried to record a video, I think on Friday, this past Friday. If, but I'm having a problem posting it, so I'm uploading it. So if you, you'll probably see it, or if not, if you don't see it, where I'm, uh, something about influence and, ho and homeschooling. Um, I do encourage you to go watch that and tell me what you think. But this video, um, is kind of like, I've been asking myself, like, am I being selfish for homeschooling? Because, you know, you talk to many moms and different people, and of course everybody has their opinion, but opinions really don't matter. The only opinion that matters is God's and when I pray and ask him for direction about homeschooling. But, you know, you seek wisdom and advice from other people. So, you know, when I tell people that I want to homeschool, why do you want to do it? And then I, even if I say, I'm thinking about pulling him out of school right now. Even though I was saying that I'm trying to prepare for it and wait and then over Christmas break. You know, then that's when I take him out, and then come January, he'll just start from there. But a part of me on Friday felt like I wanted to pull him out of school and start homeschooling like right now. Because in my last video, if it's not posted, um, I said a little bit about how I substitute. I'm a substitute teacher, and I sub a lot of middle school kids high school too but I don't really do elementary but I subbed um, a middle school class on Friday and it hurt my heart now the kids oh they're horrible and I really believe kids are the way that they are um, today because of social media or the influence that they have from teachers and other students is really it really plays a big part and but this time I actually had the opportunity to talk to the children and ask questions and then I just listened. I listened to how the kids were talking to each other, how they re how they interact with either with each other. And I really paid attention to the influence that they have over each other. And um one young lady, like I said, I'm not gonna go into it, but she was just pretty much saying she's white trash and she has anger issues because her mom, dad, and grandma has anger issues and all this stuff and she don't like anybody, she hate people, but yet she had a girl sitting by her that was her best friend. And she was like, this is my only friend, I call her white trash too, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, that's okay? Like, you feel like that's okay to call yourself white trash? She said, yes. So I said, um, you don't see yourself as a queen, you don't see yourself as beautiful, you don't see yourself as, you know, um, just you're like, you're worthy of all things. She said, no. So not only did it hurt my heart because her influence at home is a factor but also the fact that she's influencing other girls to have the same mindset as her and there she wasn't the only one there was another student in a, a class that day too that was saying the same thing he has anger issues because of his dad and his dad is in another state and his dad abuses his mom and just and I'm, I'm like, the influence that these kids have these days are like, it's so oh, disheartening. And it hurt my heart because my son is only in first grade. But I'm like, I can imagine by the time he gets to middle school, if I allow him to go that far, not even that, just the influence that he has in elementary school. So even if I allow him to get that far, it's like, I can't keep him away from what he's going to get at school, especially when school is like a job. 
kids are spending the majority of their lives in school. So eight hours, seven or eight hour days, they're at school. So that's where they're learning everything. That's where all their influence is coming from. Mostly everything that they pick up is from school. Now, I've had some students, maybe one in 10 or 15, that seem like they have their heads on right, like their influence from home is carrying over to when they come to school. Um, but that's very rare, like it's a very small ratio. So I was talking to someone and I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm being selfish because of course, when I made my first attempt to homeschool, it was always, you know, I've done research and read things and it was always, oh, the kids won't be able to be social. They won't have friends. They won't be able to do this. They won't be able to do that. And then now I see that that's not true. That's not true at all. Um, because there's so many, there's so many resources and options for homeschooling, co-ops and all kind of great stuff, but it's not even about the fact that they won't be social cause they will. And <sighs> it's not the fact that they won't be able to be social because it'll be up to me. But of course I'm going to want to be social cause I'm going to be trying to find all the homeschooling moms. So if I find all the homeschooling moms, meaning we have kids and people to interact with. Okay, bam, that's solved. The next thing is to make sure that I'm not being selfish. I'm not being selfish because at the end of the day, even if my son is disappointed or, oh, I wanna go to school and play with my friends or whatever, um, it's all about the influence. And I'm really feeling like I'm being led to do this. I had a notification come in, y'all. I'm really feeling like I'm being led to do this because I am, I pay close attention to my children, their personalities, who they are, who they're becoming. And my son is brilliant. My son is so brilliant. From the time he was born, like, he's brilliant. All of my children are brilliant. Like, they do things. They do things that are just like, oh my gosh. Like, you know, and of course, they learn faster because they have siblings that are older and they pick up stuff faster. But, my son is brilliant. He's talented. He has such a great heart. He's so loving. My children are so loving. And Major is very observant. He's like a sponge. He's been like a sponge. Even when we think he's not paying attention, he is. And it's just the influence. Like, I don't want him to go to school and he receives the wrong influence from school if you know what I mean like I feel like right now in my life I need to be planting seeds and cultivating him um and I really feel that that's from home because as I go through a spiritual like a growth like a time of growth in my life where my eyes are open and I'm more aware to what's going on in my life I see a lot now, I can tell you this time last year, I was not like this. So to just have my eyes open spiritually to things, you see things that you, that was like I was blind to last year. And I was like, what was I doing? What was I thinking? How did I not see this? So a lot of that had to do, you know, a lot of it affected the reason why I gave up on homeschooling so fast. I only homeschooled him for like two weeks. And then I sent him to school because I felt that that was the easy way out. But I'm not going to think about it that way. I'm just going to think about it like, okay, I did that so I can give myself room to grow some more because I really do feel like you can't homeschool your children if you're not in a good place. So if you're not mentally strong, emotionally strong, strong in your faith, strong in your spirituality, not knowing, like, you have to be on a journey. You have to know who you are as mom and stay focused on the goal in order to, um, oh, my husband just sent me a text saying he loves me. Um, if you're not in a place where you're cultivating and growing and planting seeds in yourself, I honestly feel like you can't do that for your kids. Not saying you can't, you can, but not in the way that you need to. 
So I think that's why my desire to homeschool is even stronger now. I mean, I felt like this before sending him to first grade. Like I was excited that he was going to first grade, but there's still a part of me that is like, I don't like this. I don't like waking up and sending him to school every day. I don't like, like, it's just so much stuff I don't like. And you know, he's going through a transition right now where I don't even know, um, like emotionally. And I don't know if it's because he's getting older or what's going on right now, but um, I just love my son. And if you're a mom, you understand. And if you're a mom that's thinking about homeschooling, you have your reasons why. But I just want to encourage you to really know why you want to homeschool. Like, I don't think mine is for selfish reasons. I don't think so at all. It's not. Because I want to train my children to go a different way. Like, I want to teach them to go a different way. Not saying that there's anything wrong with public school or private school or whatever you choose, but public education does not sit well with me. And I'm in a place right now where I can't afford private education and all that great stuff. But who says that that's really better? All private education really does, I believe, is provide better facilities and better teachers and better resources, but they're still all learning the same thing. And I want to be able to teach my son freely. Like, yes, what he's learning in school is important right now, but why are they still learning the same thing, the same thing that I was learning in kindergarten? I'm 30 years old. Why is my son still learning the same way that I was learning 30 years ago? That bothers me. So it's not about being selfish. Like, I want to teach my son life skills. I want to travel. And I know as I plan out my life and figure out, like, and seek my purpose and, and start to live the life that I desire, I have to incorporate my children, my husband. Like, I have to incorporate everybody because it affects them. So if my, if my desire is to travel and, say, be a motivational speaker or be a author or travel the world for ministry i have to incorporate my family in that because i'm not gonna leave them i'm not gonna leave them here oh because my son has to go to school or my husband has to go to work you know what i'm saying like if i have these desires i want to feed that desire into my family and i believe homeschooling is a way to start doing that now of course you have to position yourself like financially and make sure you have a plan and stuff like that but I, you know, I got all that under control, which I'll talk about at another time. But I just want to teach my my son about so many different things that they don't learn in school. In the eight hours that he sit at, seven or eight hours he sit at school, we can learn so much in just half that time. We can get in the car and go somewhere. We can take road trips and we can, for science, we can go drive to a beach or we can go to an aquarium or we can go... Um, to the park they don't do things like this 20 minutes of recess my kid come on like you're really restricting him then for real like 20 minutes of recess in this seven hour day 15 minutes to eat lunch no like stuff like that bothers me let's go get italian today let's go eat mexican this is how they learn let's go eat mexican today let's go eat greek food let's go eat Chinese food like this is what I want for my children. It's not about being selfish. It's about unlearning and relearning. It's about Training them in the way that I want to go. There is nowhere in the Bible that it says Your kid has to Go to public school your kid has to do what everybody else is doing. You have to parent the same way everybody else parents God's God puts our children in our lives for a reason because he had a plan and he knows what he wants us to do as parents for our children. So he put them in, he chose us to have children for a reason. Like he chose my three kids for me right now for a reason. And I'm seeking that purpose for them, like for me, for me as a mom. And I believe I'm discovering it. Did I ever think that I would be a, want to be a homeschooling mom? No, but here I am. At first, it was all about, oh, my God, I cannot wait. He's going to start kindergarten, and then my little girl is going to be in pre-K. Ooh, and I have two kids at school all day. I'll be free with one child. But you have a lot of parents that think like that, and that's not me. 
see that they're not seeing the bigger picture like oh my god i can't wait till you go back to school i can't wait till christmas break is over blah 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 blah. like that's not what parenting is about you don't put your children's lives in other people's hands and then when they get in trouble or they're not learning properly, then you want to get upset. That's not how life works because guess what? The teaching starts with us first. The influence starts with us first. So am I being selfish? No. I know what I want for my life. I know what I want for my children's life. I can't desire something so great for my life and then I don't do that for my children. Does that make any sense? It doesn't. It doesn't. You have to want the same great things for your kids. If you're seeking purpose in your life, you should be praying and knowing that your purpose involves your children. So then you involve them in your journey of seeking purpose. And then as they come along, they they can be seeking their purpose as well. We're all, we're a part of that. It's like a circle of life type of thing. Okay, I'm rambling. I'm not being selfish for wanting to homeschool my kid. I am the first influence. God is the first influence and then it's me as mom and my husband as dad. Do I want his teacher to be his first influence? No. Do I want him coming home saying, Miss so-and-so said, nope. No. I just had this issue with him the other day because he was not listening to me and I'm just like, get up and go do this. And then I had to remind him. I said, and I was reminding myself, I'm like, now, if your teacher, Miss So-and-so, said, go do this, would you sit there like you're not going to go do it? He said, no. I said, you would get up, right? He said, yes. I said, okay, I'm your mom. You listen to me first. Not saying that you don't listen to your teacher, but when I say get up and move, you move. So you see what I'm saying? It shows the level, like there was a level of respect. that, and If you don't be careful, your kids can look at your teacher as almost as if that's their mother figure because they see this person as a person that's teaching them everything and spending time with them all day long and you see how it can be a snowball type of thing so there's a level of respect that you want to be mindful of because it can mess things up if you don't catch it early or if you don't do something about it early or if you don't level up your influence as a parent you have to let your kids know that even though you're going to school and you're learning this, I'm going to teach you this as well. I'm going to teach you what you're not learning at school or I'm going to enhance what you're learning at school. Period. That was supposed to be said. Okay, I'm out. Remember to glow. Remember to affirm yourself. If you desire to homeschool or you're thinking about it, I encourage you to do it. Stop second guessing yourself. Stop worrying about if things are going to work out or not. Don't worry about if you're going to be able to do it because you teach your kids every day. You have to pay attention to what you're teaching them. Go follow me on Instagram at the mommy glow up. Comment below and tell me what you think of this video. If you have any comments or any uh, encouragement, any advice on homeschooling, anything, just let me know. I'm looking for a community of moms that I can just girl yes <laughs> with <laughs> so until next time talk to you guys soon